Okay. There are a couple of questions. One, um, <laughs> I, one, the, the question is, number one, does Apple deserve this? Uh, question number two, is Intel the 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 place for this to be? Uh, are they the people to to bring this message to us? And three, um, is it funny? <laughs> so, I've been I've been watching on Twitter uh, a lot of different people's reactions to this, um, and and I'm surprised actually how how um, vociferously people have been uh, reacting to this to this series of ads um a, a lot of people who are who are you know well known apple advocates i and i don't get me wrong don't get me wrong i am i am like as much an apple fanboy as the next person as you guys know i go back and forth about apple but i always come back to apple so so i'm not necessarily an apple hater here just taking the opportunity to to punch apple while their nuts are exposed right i'm i'm not I'm not doing that, but at the same time, uh, I do really feel like <laughs> I do really feel like Apple has opened themselves up to this kind of trolling for years, and as such, they it's 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 weird because as such they've opened themselves up to this but nobody has ever i mean samsung has done their thing but samsung always turns out to look stupid when they're doing theirs uh and and so and so because samsung like makes fun of apple in a commercial and then turns around and does everything else i mean intel has it at least has it has a vested interest in <laughs> in keeping their business alive um and and the thing is, like, I I look at it this way. Um, it does it doesn't really have anything to do in my mind with the uh, with with the whole Intel versus M1 chip. I mean, I'm not going to argue that the M1 chip is not an amazing leap forward in in uh, processors for Apple and probably for everybody else, and that's that likely means uh, at least a significant uh, ding in Intel's business unless they go toward the uh, toward the arm chip thing but but let's taking that out of the game taking that taking that and putting it off to the side because it was because Apple has had this reputation of like this sort of untouchable hubris like they can do anything and and anybody will will and anybody will sort of take it or lose or whatever and it's just kind of like i'm i'm glad that somebody has done this i mean i i imagine that lewis rossman is like you know rolling over in his in his rolling chair or whatever whatever it is <laughs> although they didn't mention right to repair um the thing is Apple has had a long history of uh, how, how should we call it customer hostile practices when it comes to developing their products. Um, so not only do we have the, the 2016 redesign of the Mac took away all the ports and and left us with the USB-C, which is where the dongle thing comes from. But I mean, they took away the headphone jack. I'm, I, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna forgive them. Uh, new T-shirts coming on headphone jack. I don't know. Some people say maybe it's maybe it's a few years late to complain about the. I don't know. It's still it's still like yesterday to me. Um. So they they've done that over the years. There have been little little kerfuffles about. I think it was the iPhone 4S antenna gate. I think you know just the keyboard thing, the touch disease thing. And Apple has just kind of like changed things with their products over and over again and and not really and not really cared whether or not it was good for the consumer. Um the thing that's interesting to me is 
I mean, when Apple made those I'm a Mac, I'm a PC commercials, um, it was a response. For, uh, Apple was basically calling out Intel for the same thing that, not Intel, but Windows, which, of course, has Intel and a lot of other people invested in that. But Apple was calling out uh, Windows-based world and saying, you know, everything's locked down, everything is only do it this way, everything is that, this, that, and the other thing. And they they basically were saying, we're the solution because we we care about people, we let you, you know, do things, we, uh, we're the more creative solution, et cetera, et cetera. None of those things are, are not untrue to this point. But, you know, and Justin Long, the actor who plays the Mac, uh, was like a cool, hip, young dude, right? And the cool, hip, young dude was doing his thing, and Apple and the Mac was the way to do it. Um, and then the PC, you know, John Hodgman playing the PC character was, you know, buttoned up and very, and very, like, and very, uh, I guess, stodgy, stuffy. So, so now, Intel has this idea. Now, I thought it was very interesting when Apple did their event back when they introduced the M1 Max, and they brought John Hodgman back, the PC, and he had a funny little bit there at the end of the of the end of the thing. And then, <laughs> but there was no Justin Long, and I was kind of like, uh, why didn't they bring him? Maybe they didn't feel like he need they needed him. Maybe they tried to get him, and there was a scheduling conflict. Maybe they didn't try and get him at all, and or he said no, or who knows? It could have been any number of things. Um, but he wasn't there, and that that kind of surprised me. So now we we have him kind of doing this thing where you know he starts out. He says, "I'm a I'm a, um Justin, just a regular guy looking for a computer," you know. And pointing out all these things that have ch had, that have changed about Windows computers that uh, that now are that are that now are in stark contrast to Apple computers. Windows offers you ports. <laughs> Windows offers you flexibility. Windows offers you the 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 chance to play games. Windows offers you a lot of different things. Uh, whereas Mac takes away the ports, nobody develops games for Mac, etc., etc., etc. It's it's just interesting to me from a historical standpoint, having lived through both of the things, that Apple was the underdog, and they they could take pot shots at Windows in general and look like look like you know the 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 hero. It, it, it's all it's all optics. Like if if. Apple's the underdog and they take pot shots at the big guys, then then they're looked at favorably. And now what happened is Intel or whoever does Intel's marketing saw an op saw an opportunity, right? They saw an opportunity to dunk on Apple. And so they they hired Justin Long, they made these commercials. The Commercials in my mind aren't necessarily about Intel. The commercials in my mind are more about the difference between Apple and Windows as it as it exists right now, right? Um, I still think that over and above anything else, Apple's quality control is and and their design and everything like that is a step above a Windows computer until you get to something like you know right now. Okay, so. I'm using this Razer Blade 15 from last year right now to do this live stream because my M1 Mac uh, just decided it wasn't going to do it the other day. Um, so I'm using this. These Razer laptops are incredibly well made. And I, I have right now a Razer 13-inch um, that is not – it's not a gaming laptop. It's, it's like a 13-inch – I forget what they call it. Ah, I, I'd, I'd have to look back at it. But anyway, these this 13-inch, it doesn't have a discrete graphics card. It has, like, the Intel graphics in there. It is small. The processor is snappy. It's a productivity machine, and it 
if you if you put it right beside a MacBook Pro 13, um, Ra- yeah, the Razer Book 13. That's right. Thank you, Aditya. I f- I, f- I, f- I forgot exactly what it's called. I've been using it just like in my other office uh, as as like a you know I'm just doing my little every morning. I I it's weird. Down here is where I make stuff. Up there is where I like plan to make it, and so I I've been using it up there, and it's been great. It's been great. The keyboard feel is great. The screen is is amazing. It's a touch screen, <laughs> um, and it's not like it's not the super. It's not the super like gacked out to the gills every feature uh razor it's it's um it's got a lot of the features that they advertise for that but it's a review unit only has 256 gigs of storage in there and it's only got 16 gigs of ram but i believe that is user upgradable as well so i start to me apple has been open for this kind of trolling for a long time right they have been they have been sort of at least up until a couple of years ago really sort of deaf to the to the voice of their customers and doing kind of whatever they wanted to and then also you know also just becoming what they fought against before which is the natural progression of things right if you're if you're the big guy then you're going to you're going to you know fight against the little guy and then the little guy is eventually going to gain ground and going to take over. Apple is is the biggest tech company in the world, one of the biggest companies in the world. Period. And they you can't fault them for what they've been able to do, the usability of their machines and everything else, the iPhone, you know, you can we can argue until we're blue in the face about whether or not the iPhone or the Android or the whatever. But just from a historical standpoint, I look at this ad and it brings into relief for me the idea that it it's been it's been a what was that like 25 20 25 years ago that that ad campaign ran one of the best ad campaigns ever in the history of advertising and I think it you know that plus the 1984 Super Bowl ad I mean there there are moments in Apple advertising history that have really uh propelled them forward as a company and helped them become what they are now. But to see that ad turned around on them, to me, is just a huge facial. It's just a huge, it's just a huge moment of, wow, you didn't see this coming. And regardless of how you feel about that happening from a from an advertising standpoint from a marketing standpoint as i look at this i look at this commercial and nobody so we're all geeks here we all know all of the ins and all of the outs of all of this different stuff and we know the history of it we understand all of this minutia right but for the average person who's making a laptop buying decision right um, they aren't going to a really understand what it means that the ad is from Intel. They're not, that's, that's neither here nor there. They're not going to know the history of the M one max versus Intel. They're not going to know that a lot of Macs have Intel chips in them anymore. They're not going to, they're not going to know a lot of this stuff, but what they're going to take away is if they're, if they're old enough to remember that ad, they're going to say, Oh man, they just really they just really sort of came after <laughs> Apple with their own dude. It's like it's like if Michael Jordan got you know traded to the Lakers and then won the championship, you know, against the Bulls, right? Um 